Hey guys, Marty here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a bit of a VPET update. I'm going to do this daily. I'm going to do it for the next week. Uh, see how it goes, and I might do it for another week to see what happens after that. But pretty much want to show you where I'm at with my VPETs, what I'm planning to do, and that kind of thing. Um, I am going to talk about... I do have my daughter's Tamagotchis again. A bit of a funny story that they did try and sneak them to school again today. So if you want to see that, just stick around to the end of the video. I'll talk about it at the end. Um, but first off, I want to go through some of my Digimon stuff. So currently on this one here... I have Patamon and Gazimon. Basically, I'm not really aiming for any specific evolution with these guys. I'm just looking after them. Um, I will do a bit more training again today. Uh, but I'm not really aiming for anything too particular with them. That's more of a just see what happens with them sort of thing. Um, so I'll, obviously you'll see in the next couple of days what, what they do evolve into. But yeah, so I'm just keeping those guys and we'll see what happens with them. On this one here, though, I have two Cordramon greens. So I do have to evolve them once more um, before I can try for the Digimon I want. But I want to get Matt's uh, Metal Gururumon. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, but what I've got to do, I don't know if you guys have had one before or you've seen the requirements. So this is pretty easy. I just do the uh, 12 out of the last 15 battles need to be wins. Pretty easy. I've done it with this guy. I just need to do it with the other one, which I'll do in a minute. Um, but basically, yeah, so once they evolve into their next stage, I need to complete 100 battles to be able to get Matt's Metal Gururum on. Now, I've never had one before, so I thought it would be a pretty cool thing to achieve before I get the Digimon X. So that's what I'm going for now. Hopefully, you guys will get to see it within the weekly updates. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much what's going with these guys. So I'll do a quick battle now with the second one, and then at least there'll be one battle out of the way for me, and I'll only have to do 14 more. My strategy, guys, is always just to battle the first one um, you can go through and battle the other ones, but if you're trying for evolution, you might as well just keep battling the first one. Um, and that way, you know you're always going to win. You don't have to worry too much. And then if you lose, you have to account how many you've lost and how many battles you've done. Right now, I know I've done two battles um, and two wins. So I know I've done two battles. So sweet, I'll just do 13 more battles after this video, pretty much. <clears throat> well, that's where I'm at with my two Digimon. Uh, my white one, I haven't really got anything on there at the moment. That's just waiting. I'll probably think of something to do with that later in the week. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but I did change the battery in it the other day, as you probably saw. All right, quick look at my little $5 Kmart V-Pet, the, the evil bunny. Uh, so let's have a bit of a look here at what it says about him. See, it hasn't really got an age. So I did. I had a comment from a user who said they had an issue with the... They, sorry, they didn't have an issue. They thought it would be an issue with the internal clock. Did a, did a bit of digging and playing around with this early, and I'm pretty sure it is something to do with the clock because it's not aging at all. I'm assuming that's a clock. Uh, and I think it's this button for the clock. No, that's the wrong button. There we go. The time just constantly spinning there, so it doesn't actually know what the time is. And I can't actually, I haven't really found a way to set the time on this VPET. So what I'm thinking is I might actually have to press that reset button that's in a terrible place. If you haven't, it does look smaller, but I think it should be a lot smaller, like require a pin or something. Um, if you haven't seen my video, I did a review on that as well. Check it out on my channel. Um, I talk more about that. Um, but basically, I'm thinking I'll reset it. I can reselect whichever pet I want. Um, not sure what I'll choose yet, but I'll keep you guys updated if I do. Um, and yeah, and then reset it and then reset the clock from there and see if the clock actually holds, and hopefully it does. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, basically, I haven't really done too much with this. I'll probably do a bit more with it. Wrong button again. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do a bit more with it over the next couple of days, but you'll see that in the updates anyway. But I'll probably look at resetting it just to get that clock working. But if I do that, I'll do that in a separate video. So do keep an eye out. Um, we might explore that a bit further. All right, guys, now on to the story I was telling you about. So these two guys, I'll have to fix him up in a minute. Um, but that's right, we'll do that soon. I also have noticed the kids have been playing with the clocks on them, even though I set them. So they keep changing the times. Um... I don't know why, they probably think it's amazing. It probably would be good if they wanted to stay asleep during the day, just change the clock. Uh, but yeah, so to the story, guys. So I was downstairs, I'd gotten all their lunches ready and they had to pack their bags. And I knew as of yesterday, because yesterday they tried to sneak them in their pockets. Found them. Uh, <laughs> found them pretty easy. Uh, but today they actually wanted to sneak them in their lunch boxes. And I heard them whispering while they were packing their, their lunch boxes. So the lunch boxes goes in like a, a little bag and then it goes in their backpack. So they wanted to put them in the, the lunch bags. Anyway. So, yeah, they were whispering, and I just pretended I wasn't looking at them and was looking at my phone while I was on the couch. And the Tamagotchis were sitting on the bench, just sitting there. 
And then they packed their lunch bags and then these were gone. So I knew straight away what was happening. But anyway, they went upstairs and whatever. Uh, no issue. Um, yeah, and then I went through their lunch bags and found them in there straight away, put them in my pocket. They were both meter and everything, so they were, they were doing the best job they could to hide them, I guess. Uh, anyway, I went upstairs, they were brushing their teeth. And I just had these in my pocket, didn't say anything. Um, yeah, and I was pretty much like, hey girls, where are your Tamagotchis? I was going to look after them for you for the day so that way they don't die. Um, just because, you know, I've got to look after my Digimon anyway and grab my Digimon out just to make it look like I was, you know, telling, wasn't lying to them or whatever. Uh, and they're like, oh, no, it's okay, we'll put them to sleep. I was like, oh, but, we, like, the Digimon will only sleep for up to three hours. I assume the Tamagotchis are the same. They, they're going to wake up during the day and they're going to have problems. And they might die. And they're like, oh, no, that's okay. We don't mind if they die. I'm like, no, that's silly. I want to keep them alive. I don't want them to die. I want them to evolve. And they're like, no, no, it's okay. We don't mind if they die. I was like, no, nah, grab them for me. Uh, can you go get them now? I'll, I'll look after them for you. And then they're like, oh, actually, no, we lost them. We don't remember where they are. And then at that point, you can see him looking a little bit worried, like thinking, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, yeah, so I was just like, um, you lost them? What do you mean? Go look for them. Go find them. I, what, didn't you have them downstairs? And they're like, oh, no, I, I don't remember where they are. We've lost them. And then I pulled... Oh. I'll uh, fix that in a minute. Uh, and then, yeah, then they I pulled them out of my pocket. I'm like, well, they're here. And I found them in your lunchbox. And their faces, it was the best thing ever. Um yeah, but it was pretty funny, and I pretty much just said, don't lie to me. You know I told you not to take them and just explain them that they would have gotten in trouble, yada, yada, like I've said before. But anyway, it was really funny to see. Um, all right, on to the next topic I want to talk about. So the Digimon X, I'm really excited for it to come out. I can't wait for it. It's pretty cool. A lot of you guys, like the US guys, have got it. It's really annoying that they don't bring it out in, the, in Australia at the same time. Like, they do that with a lot of, like, Pokemon games and stuff. Why can't they do it with a Digimon V-Pet? I'm sure it's not that difficult, but anyway... Uh, so that's coming out in like what comes out in the first, so r r roughly two weeks, uh, a little bit less. So that's pretty cool. It's not long till that comes out now, which is awesome. Uh, the other thing I wanted to discuss too, I'm looking at getting another V-Pet, but I wasn't sure if I get the Pendulum Z, which looks pretty cool. I found one for about, I think it was about $110. But I was also looking at the old Digimon Mini, um, which I'm thinking about doing a video on as well. Um, but they're older, they're from like mid-2000s, they're smaller, uh, a lot less Digimon on them. Um, and I found one of them for around, yeah, around the same price for $100, $150, somewhere around there. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I was thinking about getting one of those. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have experienced much with the mini. Um, I was doing a bit of research, did look pretty cool. Um, or the pendulum, but yeah, pretty much one of those is what I'm looking at. Uh, that pretty much wraps up the video though, guys, but I'm going to do this for the rest of the week, like I said. Um, so I'll do it for the, the next three or four days. Um, daily updates of where I'm at with my Digimon V-Pets. Um, if the Tamagotchis come into it again, we'll see what happens tomorrow, I guess. Uh, and my little Kmart V-Pet. We'll see what happens with that. Um, but I'll do it for this week. If you guys are enjoying it or if I'm enjoying it and it seems to be going well, what I'll do is I'll put them up um, next week as well and just see how far we can go with it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, smash the like button if you've gotten this far, especially, and you found it interesting. If you're not subscribed already, then probably go and fix that now because... Subscribe and you will get a lot of Digimon VPET content, the occasional odd VPET and the occasional Tamagotchi will jump in there as well. Uh, and you will make the most of your Digimon VPET. Alright guys, see you in the next video.